Welcome back, everyone, to Poppin' Often Well Often. Today, 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 we are going to be going over five tips that I wish I knew when I started playing Palea. Why is this guy all up in my grill? No, for real, what is he doing? Get up out of here. If you enjoy videos like this, not just tips and guides, but if you want to see more Palea content, subscribe. That way you are notified when I get out of here, brother. Just all up in my grill. He knows I'm doing a video. Look, he knows it. He knows it. It's like, they, do they all know? What is going on? <laughs> What's going on? Ah! <laughs> what was I even saying? Anybody have lost all consciousness. If you want to see more paleo content, not just tips, tricks, and guides, but just more paleo content in general, make sure you subscribe. That way you are notified when I pop out the next paleo video. Let's get into it. So tip number one, before you even start playing the game, we start on our plot. You want to make sure you are always leaving your plot with bug catchers and arrows. And I will tell you why. First off, let me explain how you do that. When I first started, I had no clue you can craft them. I was like, where do you where do you get this stuff? You actually go to your tools and you scroll all the way down. It will be down here. Now you want to make sure you leave with about 60 or 80. And I know that's a lot for the start, so you can make it about 20 or 40. The reason why I say this is because sometimes when you break rocks or sometimes when you cut trees down, bugs will pop out. And so you want to make sure that you're able to catch them by having the bombs already with you. You also want to make sure you have arrows because sometimes you'll come across mythical creatures. And it would really suck if you ran out of arrows with the nice mythical creature with all the rarity drops because you didn't have arrows. So again, tip number one, when you can, always leave your base with about 60 arrows, 60 butt catchers. More if you would like to, but that's the minimum that I go down to every single time. Now let's hop into tip number two. Tip number two, only some creatures, bugs, plants, whatever, some of that only spawns at nighttime. When the clock strikes six o'clock during the evening, that's how you know the night cycle starts. When it clocks 6 a.m., that's how you know when the daytime starts. You can even tell up here at the top right that the little arrow kind of moves as the time progresses. You can also see that there's another little dash right here, right? So some things will only spawn at dusk, some things will only spawn at dawn, some things will only spawn at night, and some things will only spawn in the day. So you always have to keep that in mind when you're going to search for things that there's a possibility that some of the things you can run into only spawn at a certain time of the day. This means you wanna always keep your eye out for anything new that you can find in the world. Tip number three, every weapon can break. And if it breaks, it will be reverted back to the beginner weapon. So the basic weapon that you get will not break no matter what. As you upgrade your gear, they can break. And you'll know that they'll break based off the circle. You see, my bow is about to break and it's a level two bow it's the standard bow right if i break that i go back to the beginner's bow i have a fine axe this is a level three axe if i break this axe i go back to one so you need to keep this in mind when you upgrade your gear pay attention and they break really quickly if you're towards the end and you're like ah maybe i could get a little extra stone out or a little extra piece of wood out or a little fish no 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 it will break trust me it will just don't even risk it when it's low go ahead go back and repair you can repair it two ways the first way is just coming to the shop this is a seafood shop come to her shop go ahead and click repair tools you can repair it with gold or you can use it with the repair bag you get a repair bag recipe when you upgrade one of your tools just keep that in mind the other way is you can buy an anvil from hadori put it on your plot and you can then repair it there same thing you'll need to use the repair bag tip number four you could talk to paleans to not only increase your friendship but you could know more about them every single day in the game day you're able to talk to these characters you'll notice it by a blue little chat bubble we click it we talk to them we learn more about them i exercise you plenty of rest drinks a lot of water um and use the best beauty products i can get my hands on pretty much to stay looking pretty right and you see that we already had the thumbs up which means we got relationship points with them and on top of that, we learn more about them. And sometimes they will even tell you about other characters. This game does a really good job of bringing the game to life. I highly recommend not talking to them just for the experience boost, but to really know what world you're in. And the last final tip is fishing next to other players will allow them to get a buff. This buff stacks five times. The higher the buff, the faster you'll catch a fish. As you see here, I'm gonna toss this in and we're gonna show how long it takes to get a fish without the buff. I'm just sitting here doing my thing, having a good time relaxing. Make sure you guys got snacks. Know what's important. And we're going to see uh, how, how long it takes. So let's just sit and chill. Fishing is so relaxing in this game. Okay, so you see how long it took to kind of grab something, right? Now, we're going to see how long it takes after we have the times five buff. 
Okay, now I have the five times buff. Let's throw it in and see what it's like. A lot of people have a misconception about it, and I've been hearing it a lot, that it makes it easier for you to catch the fish. That's not true. It doesn't make it easier for you to reel it in or catch it. It just pops faster. As you see, that popped almost instantly. Now, nah, okay, almost instantly, instantly is kind of a lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But it was significantly faster. It was significantly faster. And so you could catch basically double the fish because it's cutting off, I think, about half the time if it's at max stacks. As of now, I think it can only go up to five, but maybe they'll update it or change it in the future. Again, it doesn't make it easier to catch fish. It just makes it so you can catch fish faster. I'd also like to add, you don't need to emote to activate this. It's not about your emotes. It's about you catching a fish. Once your character does this with the fish that it caught, it will give the buff to anybody around them. That's the only way you can get it. So that is it for my five tips that I wish I knew. If you guys would like to see more, again, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. That way you are notified. I love the game. I've been playing the game nonstop, basically. Um, it's a great game. And so if you guys want to see tips and tricks from someone who spent hours and hours in this game, make sure, again, you subscribe. That way you are notified when I pop out more content this week. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And until next time, you know what I always say? Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. We'll often. Yeah, yeah.